she's lonely a lot. That's the one word that I can say uh, is descriptive of, uh, of a life for somebody like her at Embassy West is loneliness. was my age she was still going out hunting polar bear <laughs> uh, feisty lady uh, married my dad uh, one of the few marriages in those days where uh, it was a marriage of love and not prearranged she had a number of uh, other children there were five boys and one girl in our family and uh, my dad and mom got uh, tired of boys so they adopted a number of girls <laughs> and She's an extreme seamstress. Uh, she's an artist. She still sews every day. Whenever I walk into her room at uh, West Embassy, she's bent over sewing mittens for a grandchildren, a hat for another grandchildren, making dolls. She's still quite active that way, uh, uh, except for the fact that she misses her uh, grandchildren very, very much and, uh, and her adopted children up north. When she was in an elder uh, care home up north, uh, she was able to get out and visit, uh, you know, her uh, uh, children, uh, and, uh, and not just for an hour, I mean, for a few days and so on. And uh, she, she uh, thoroughly, uh, you know, she, she misses that. It's a lot of things. It, it's, it's community that she misses, and she does not have that here. She has said more than once now, look, son, I miss my grandchildren and my great-grandchildren up north so much. I'm willing to go up north and uh, live out the rest of my days, even if it's shorter uh, than stay here and not be able to see them. That's a pretty heavy-duty statement to make, and it's a very heartfelt one, and, uh, and it should, it's worth considering for all the official doms of Canada. <laughs>